Hello and welcome to my channel Crafty Chalk and Creations. My name is Deborah. I'm an independent designer of Chalk Couture and stay tuned to see what it is I make with this Hello Spring Size D transfer. Video because I want to do this transfer. Oops, it's upside down. <laughs> I wanted to do this transfer Hello Spring on the back of my glass door and I'm in the middle of fuzzing this. Now I'm just trying to give you an idea of how I'm just going to tack it up there really quick. Give you some idea of something else you can do with the size D transfers. You can put them on the glass of your door, use the paste because you can scrape out the paste and wash it off. That way when you want to change it out you can do that. Um, you can also put it on a pillow but I just want to give you an idea of something you could do with these size D 18 by 18 transfers. I am in the process of fuzzing this. Um, unfortunately, the way the camera is, you're not going to be able to see that. But um, what I do is I lay it down on my table, sticky side up, and I take my fuzzing cloth here and I put it on the transfer to try to take some of that stickiness off because I'm putting this on glass. It is going to adhere very strongly, and I don't want to stretch this but I need it to have enough tack on it to where it will stay. The center part seems good. My edges seem pretty, pretty strong here, so that's what I'm trying to get done. All right, we're going to give this a go. All right, I'm going to try to center this. best I can. I eyeball things. If you like to measure, you are more than welcome to. I don't do that. Okay. I think that looks good. So I put my finger in the middle. I go up, down, side to side, and then I smooth it out with my hands. And why I do that is that way I can feel if there is any air bubbles, any little lip fuzzies on there and also to make sure that I have got good contact with my surface. Make sure I don't have any fuzzies under there. Okay. Now you can do this all one color if you want to make this go by pretty quickly. Okay, that's peeling up pretty good. Or you can do multiple colors, which of course that's what I'm going to do. This side is still a little sticky. So I'm going to take my fuzzy cloth to it. Alright. Try to smooth this out a little bit. Now I've got little, little wrinkles in here. That's okay, we can get rid of them. Alright. I think that feels pretty good. I'm just hoping I can pull this off without distorting it. And there's a little air bubble, but I'm not worried about that paste isn't going there. All right, I have decided on my colors. I'm going to do pesto, peony pink, berry, and I believe this is sunshine. Yeah, sun, sunny, yeah, sunny side, sunshine, sunny side, yellow. Um. Instead of me doing the whole thing and then pulling up because this is so much larger and I'm going to be doing a little bit of detail up here, I'm going to do what I call the peel and lift. I'm going to do sections and I'm going to peel it up so that way it doesn't stick while I can get the rest of it done. And I think because this side is probably going to take me more time to do, I'm going to do this side first, peel it up, and then get the rest of this. And the tools I will be using today, I'm going to be using a multi-tool. I'm hoping you can see this. I can't see what you're seeing. Um, but I'm going to be using the multi-tool, uh, the small squeegee, and also the mini squeegee. Alright, I'm going to get started. I've got my little plate here. I've got my tools. I've already mixed up my paste. This is the pesto. I'm going to do this over here with the leaves. Now, I generously apply my paste and then you can scrape off the excess. Your squeegee has a bevel side. 
and that is the side that you apply your paste with. You can, like I said, you can do this all one color if you would like. Now, um, if you are going to put this on glass, you do need to make sure that your surface is clean. I had to clean my glass. It's been exposed to the elements, so there's a little dirty, a little dust on there. But, like I, um, but be sure to fuzz your transfer very well. So that way it does not stick to the surface so well that it stretches and distorts your transfer, which I'm hoping I have done that. That felt good, but it's one of those things you're not really sure. And if it is adhering to your surface very well, just very slowly peel it up. Now some of the paste will stain your transfer. That is perfectly normal. There's nothing wrong with that. You just want to make sure when you clean your transfer that in the mesh screening here where the, the paste is going through is, um, is clean and clear of any paste or ink. Now I am using the paste. It is water soluble so you can clean it off with soap and water. Alright, I think I am about where I would like to be. I'm going to get this little bit here. Now this excess that I have on here, I'm going to scrape it off. Now this glass has been on the sun. I try to keep it uh, in the shade here inside the house. Uh, so that way it's not so hot. This is probably going to instantly dry. I hope you like this idea and it gives you some inspiration of things that you can do with these larger transfers. Alright, I'm going to clean off my squeegee really quick. I'm going to use my multi-tool and I'm going to make a couple of these flowers in this pink. I love this tool. This is my one of my favorite tools. It's good for these little spots and these little areas like this. Okay, I think that will be good. I'm going to do that up there pink, but I'll wait till I get on that side. I'm going to clean this off, and then I think I'm going to do some yellow. That's a pretty shade of yellow. Hopefully you can see that. I can't see what you're saying right now. Um, I'm going to do this one yellow down here. And it does not take much paste. Um, hmm, I'm going to do a little yellow right here. Right there. I think I'm done with the yellow. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do one up there at the top, but I think I'll do these three purple here. And then I'm going to use the berry. That is so pretty. That is a pretty purple. Kind of a pastel, but not really. And in between. Nice spring colors. Now, any of these products that I am using from Chalk Couture are available at the time I post this video. I will post an editable shopping cart link down below, so that way if you'd like to get any of these products, you can. You can add, you can subtract to that editable cart. So I will just go ahead and make sure I have that posted in the description box below. But if you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you would uh, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're watching this on YouTube, if you could go ahead and subscribe to my channel and give this video a like and be sure that, to hit that notification bell so that way you are notified of whenever I do a video on YouTube. Alright, I think I have that section done so I'm going to peel this up slowly. Let's see how this looks. Oh, I'm liking it. I know you can't see. You're just going to have to wait for the peel and reveal later. Okay, there's a little spot here I missed. 
And that's another reason why you pull it up slowly so that way if you missed a little spot, you can touch it up. It was the pink here on the, the flower right here on the edge. How this turn is turning out. There we go. All right, I've got that, and then I'm going to lift this up just a little bit there. I'm going to kind of tack it back down. Now, this part of the lettering had gotten pulled up, so I want to smooth that back down. And this little area here, all the rest of it, I'm just going to kind of tack that so it doesn't flop back down in the way. But those areas you want to smooth back down that may have lifted up that you have not pasted yet. Okay, I think everything else is looking good. So the rest of this I'm going to do in pesto. I'm going to do that little bud up there. I'm going to do that one in pink. So I'm going to grab my small squeegee because it has more of a surface. I'm going to generously apply this. So you can always scrape off the excess. Oops, I almost got my, my little bud there. I think it's supposed to be a leaf, but I'm going to turn it into a bud. A little pink flower bud. Um, I originally wanted to do this in bark, the brown, but I don't have any brown paste. So I'm going to have to get me some. I have ink, but no paste. All right, and I'm going to fill in the lettering here. And then I can just go ahead and when a spring is over or if I want to change my design on here, I can just clean this off. Use my little paste scraper and clean it off. And then put a new design up there if I want. Okay, I think I have it all. Now I'm going to scrape off the excess. That way I know I have good, even coverage. Watch my little pink bud up there. When you start seeing the design coming through when you're scraping it off, you know you have good even coverage. Oops. Put my nail in there. Okay. And all I need to do is get my little pink bud there. And then I can do the peel and reveal. go. Get my cap on my paste there. Clean off my fingers. All right, I'm going to start with this corner. I've already looked at that side. Gently peel it. That's not sticking too bad. I thought for sure it might stick a little. A little firmer than I cared for, but no, I think it's turning out just fine. I'm loving this. Okay, some of my leaves I probably could have, like in here, I probably could have gone a little bit thicker. I absolutely love it. I hope you like it too. Now you can do your own color choices, your own combination. I'm gonna get this out of the way. But I do. I like how this turned out. I hope you do also. Let's see if I can take this off. Without shutting my phone off. The way my setup is, I'm sorry. <laughs> 
Hello Spring. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope this gave you some inspiration and gave you some ideas of what you can do with the size D which is an 18 inch by 18 inch transfer. Thank you so much for watching and you enjoy your day and hello spring.